Hey, you guys, it looks like it's nighttime. Ashley, say hi. She's in her jammies, so you wouldn't know if it was nighttime or daytime. But it is 9.30, the day before Christmas Eve. And the girls are very excited. Come we get to open our secret sister gifts. And I actually got three. No. Shh, don't give them away. Okay, you go get dressed, and then you can play while I go. Go. I am suddenly feeling panicked, even though I know in my mind I have almost everything done. I still have to wrap presents, and I have videos to edit. I'm really behind now. I thought I was totally caught up, but I'm not. I got sick yesterday. Just the headache hit me at like one o'clock after church, and I it just, I was on the couch until four, and then I just gave up because it was too noisy down here and too bright. The light kept getting turned on and TV was on. So I went to bed and I stayed in bed till 9.30, came down, Jason made me dinner, and I went back to bed, and I'm just now coming downstairs. <laughs> so I had a hard day yesterday. I was wanting to hang out with the kids and, you know, do Christmassy stuff or go for a drive and look at lights and none of that happened. I know that was kind of not upsetting to Jason. He wanted to just enjoy the day as well. It just didn't happen. Regardless, now I'm kind of in last minute mode and my kids are eating me out of house and home and they've only been home from school for three days. <laughs> I have no fruit. I have two gallons of milk, which is enough for a couple days but when you have Christmas day involved and wanting to actually like stay home and enjoy the days even around Christmas day it just means I need to like get some stuff so I am daring Costco on the day before Christmas Eve it opens in three minutes so I'm hoping if I can hurry and get over there I will catch it at a non busy time and then I have a few errands to run myself I just thought of some ideas to get my sister then the girls need to go shopping with me because they have little bits to get for their secret sister presents. And then I want them to get something for Jason as well. So, I don't even think Kaylee and Abby are awake. But they're <laughs> in charge. <laughs> they're going to wake up to that. But Chelsea and Ashley are just upstairs playing. If you can't tell, I'm feeling flustered. So, I'm, let me go get some stuff done. And then I won't feel so on edge. But it is pouring rain outside again. If you didn't know, Seattle had the most amount of rain on record the last two weeks and we also had the darkest day on record in Seattle ever I don't know it was last week sometime I can't remember what day but I was like yes that day was the day that I had such a hard day with I think it was with Abby in urgent care and I'll give you an update on her later she won't want to be on camera but I'll give you an update on her anyway I'm gonna bear the you know, go and bear the rain, run my errands, and try and feel like I'm caught up. Because I want to get to the point today and tomorrow, obviously, Christmas Eve, where we're playing games and having snacks and enjoying our time, and I'm not running around with my head cut off. And right now, I'm running around with my head cut off. And now I can't even open the door because I have you on my hands. So, say goodbye to you for a second. All right, I'm waiting for the aisle to open up over there. So this is just basics. My kids are going through fruit like nuts. And then I got the cordon bleu, two of those, because rebate is ending tomorrow. And then some more freezer meals that are gonna be easier for cooking during the holidays. I don't wanna have to cook. I wanna be able to put it in the oven. Lasagnas, garlic pasta, pizzas, got some butter, and the cordon bleus. Cordon bleus are like $8 for the six pack. So yes, that was a good deal. Do you know what kind of sucks? Is that I managed those crowds and Costco gas in under 30 minutes. <sighs> and I unloaded my car. People were waiting for my spot. I'm like, I got this. I'm gonna go fast. Right across the aisle from the cart return. And then I went to grab a bag of oranges from the opposite side from when I grabbed them off the shelf. And the whole side of them is like completely caked in green mold. And I got it all over my hands. And the return line was like out the door. Like I'm not going back in there. So now I have green mold all over my hand. I wiped it off with toilet paper, but it's like, I gotta like disinfect my whole hand now. And now I don't have a second bag of oranges. I'm 
so annoyed. And I know it's not just Costco. It's, it could happen anywhere. And I usually check the bags of oranges before we leave. I did the first bag, but not the second bag. But I was pretty proud of myself for getting in and out of there in less than 30 minutes. So now on to the next thing. All right, we are doing secret sister shopping and maybe even a secret daddy shopping, right? Yeah. Jealous? They're all, well Kaylee's blowing her hair out the window because it's wet. <laughs> but she won't let me film her doing that. So we're running a bunch of errands. Target first, is that what you said? Yeah. Target, bank, and dollar spot. Dollar Tree. Oh. Dollar Tree, that's not. There's not actually a store called Dollar Spot. There should be. Target, Target could make like a whole separate store with just the dollar spot. They suckered me into Red Robin. I did it. Chelsea did. Chelsea. Actually, you suggested that. Sure. I know, because I didn't want to go home and make everyone lunch. You cold? Wearing my coat? I always get stuck at the end of the meal. Or when it's gone to the bathroom. I always get stuck at the table. I'm packaging up leftovers. I've never seen my kids go through so many baskets of fries. They were starving today, but now they're full and we're gonna go home and I start wrapping presents and work on the computer. So, oh, and it's also my friend's birthday today, so she won't watch this, but you know who you are. Happy birthday. It's your birthday? Here he is. Oh. I can't get the lid on this. I'm really struggling. So, let's head on home. We're back at home. Ran a lot more errands than we showed. We couldn't find Ginger. And we can't find Ginger, right? We left for a long time. I know, Ginger obviously didn't feel good yesterday because she took a nap for a day Three and a half. Days. <laughs> so, the kids are a little distraught, but maybe you should go upstairs. But this is the last time we're gonna see her. Yeah, she might she'll come tomorrow. So, go upstairs and play so she can come. She can't come when you're around. Oh, it's so cold. Go play. Go play. Ginger's having a hard time. <laughs> Coming up with two more days. This is what my mess, this is what my day is gonna look like. Ooh, I just gave away my sister's present. I have a whole lot to do now at my desk. I told the kids, I took you to lunch. I took you shopping, we got all the sister gifts. If I can get computer work done, then we're gonna transform this room into wrapping station. So we always put up a big blanket over the doors and a no peeking sign. And then I take turns and each of them will wrap their sister gifts, we'll wrap dad's gifts. And then I have a little bundle of every one of their gifts left to wrap. So, but this desk, the stuff I've got to get to do here is like on my brain. Like we have to sign up for insurance, Jason and I, something went wrong in the enrollment process. And so Jason and I are left hanging on our insurance. And that's really like one of my main things. And then um, I've just got to get some stuff done. The kids know, stay upstairs. They've been fed. Okay, they are free to play on the iPad play in a fort, play games, whatever they want. But it's time for me to get some stuff done here. If you want to open this present that I, I have at my feet. Box. She wants the box right here. But it's a present that they can open if they go get Abby. Hurry, go get her. My sister just sent this present. It's kind of Christmas and a, a wedding thank you gift. I've been working here for hours, getting things caught up. It's dinner time now and the kids are getting antsy and Jason's still at work he's probably gonna leave soon and then he only works like he's only gonna work like half day tomorrow for Christmas Eve that's retail and only your business though so it's just what it is and I think we have an Abby do we have an Abby no. oh Kaylee woke up maybe Kaylee's playing teenager and sleeping all day she's very tired okay let's open this up all right, go ahead, Ash. Oh, wait, you can't. That one's mine from Aaron. You can't open that one yet. Careful, careful, careful. Yeah, take garage. out that box. Careful. I already looked in it. It's very delicate. Okay, let me see. let me read these cards so that you understand what it is. It says, 
A nutcracker is said to represent power and strength, bringing good luck and protection to your home and family. Nutcrackers are gentle and Let me do it. just like you. And then this one says, you sang like angels at our wedding day. Thank you for making it so special. Just like ang angels, you are beautiful in every way. Gotcha. So they Let sent a little nutcracker ornament and then little angels. One, two, three, four, five angels. And our nutcracker. <laughs> Which is dad. That's our dad, isn't so it? This is dad. This is mom. Yep. This is Kaylee, Kaylee. Abby, me, Ashley. That is so cute, huh? Yeah. I like that. Wait, are Should we put them on the tree? So you this one would be mine. Oh, yeah, that could be a bed. That could be a hot tub. Mm, that's hot. Tub, don't put water in it. Dude, this girl just gave me a heart attack. <laughs> she I said that it. out there on the tile and stepped on it when I didn't know. Do it again. Yeah, imagine that sound when you don't know what she's doing. So yeah, let me show you these little ornaments. Abby wants to put these on her tree. Look how cute. Can I put all five or just one? Oh, you can put them all on your tree. That would be cute. Only Here, three stumps. Yeah. We're fighting over what tree they get to go on. I'm putting them on we thought tree. about doing a tree next year in the playroom, but then we realized how much they play soccer and <laughs> rough and tumble in there. And that would probably not be a good idea, right, Chels? No. Probably not. Your room. Not delicate, right? Well, well I mean, can... they're not glass, but they're also not that, like, them It sounds fake. like they are. They are glass. Yeah, they're like, that's yeah. not plastic. All right, yeah, Abby, you can put them on your tree. Wow, this is the same angle I've had all day with you guys. Let's go see what the kids are up to. They're supposed to be going to bed. It doesn't sound like they're going to bed. Are we appropriate in here? No. Nope. <laughs> in you go. You're taking a bath? I guess. I can't show them at all. Hey, Jace. Hey. He just got home from work. <laughs> hey, but you need to get out. It's bedtime. Can I have a rice cooking? <laughs> they haven't taken a bath in a long time. Actually, I took one like just barely. Really? Not today, but like earlier. Okay, get your hair rinsed out. Come on, guys, there's your towels. I got them for you. Well, now I gotta back out because I can't turn the camera around. You need to get out. So I'm sure Jason's tired. Let's go see what Katie and Abby do in their room right now or what they're doing. I'm tired. Do you guys have all your presents for everybody? Yeah. Your lights are cute in here. Yeah, I like it. Either. And Abby, oh, I was going to show you, Jace. She showed me. She did? The angels on this tree? And then the nutcracker. And How you're the, the nutcracker's not on the tree? Well, you're our gentleman. It's the gentleman and, our, and his angels. Okay. I don't know why that is not the tree. I can do it. It's not my tree. It's fine. It's fine. I see where I rank. Yeah. I'll put it on the back where nobody can see me. I'll just put it right back there. I didn't do it. Maybe she had taken it down for a doesn't. reason. She likes things cohesive like me. But yep, the gentleman. The nutcracker just doesn't add to the mix. Oh my gosh, this is annoying. <laughs> you thought I was turning the camera off. <laughs> I was turning it on. But yes, my friend, we will go. And you may have your teenage room to yourself. Yes. <laughs> she's, being, <laughs> she's being really nice right now because she knows it's the day before Christmas Eve. No, it's not even that. Her friend said that um, she told her parents she couldn't get anything school related, educational, reading. No, they know not to get that. So I, I told Kaylee I probably have to take like half of her stuff back then. <laughs> Like all the books I got you, all the pencils and, right? Leave, I know, that yes, look, I know, okay, okay. All right, we got Abby nestled by the fire and Jason joined her 
We are going to end our night. It is the night before Christmas Eve. Jason has to work a little bit tomorrow and then we will do some fun stuff together as a family. And then the chaos of Christmas day comes. <laughs> I'm not even ready for it. But I appreciate you guys joining with us and... Are we gonna fold or whatever, wrap packages? Yeah, we have lots more pa packages. We have more presents to wrap tonight. Or tomorrow. I might do more of it tomorrow. I'm not really feeling like it tonight. They're not going to, I mean, it's about whether they go to sleep or not. Abby, how's your, have you had to do your inhaler today? I would have. Do you need to go do it now? I'm just coughing. Oh, okay. Okay, Abby. Girls, get ready for bed. Okay, I need to go get them in bed. No. They're in a giggly mood, which is good. But I need to get them asleep. So take care, you guys. Have a good night and it's almost Christmas time.